Good morning. Um, I'm Katie Hills, and I'm on the art faculty here at Colorado Academy. And there's something we all have in common, and that is that we are human. In fact, in one hand, we have 27, all of us, we have 27 bones. Between the two, that's 54 bones. A quarter of the bones in our body are in our hands. That means we're meant to be manually competent. We're designed to do so. I see this set up here that our students built. That's manual competence. Our hearts pump around 2,000 gallons of blood a day. We're designed to be an active species. In fact, when we become less active, our physical health and mental health decline. We're meant to work hard. We have information passing through our brains at 260 miles per hour. We are designed to be intellectual. I wonder, though, could our intellectual competence be overshadowing some of the natural design and instincts of us as a species? As I thought about this, I thought of a story of my childhood uh, about some mindless, grueling work that I would do as a child. I grew up in Vermont, which is a small state on the border of Canada, and uh, it's cold. It's cold up there. And my father was a large animal veterinarian, so he took care of cows, horses, sheep, pigs, a few llamas, and one camel, which is a, another story. And my mother was a teacher. He grew up on a dairy farm himself, and uh, lived in a home that didn't have plumbing until he was in high school. So manual labor was just something he grew up with. Well, my sisters and I would drive down our driveway in July, come around the bend, and there would be four cords of wood piled in our backyard. Now let me describe what one cord of wood is. One cord of wood stacked equals four feet by four feet by eight feet, so you can imagine the size of this pile. There would be a sinking feeling, a lot of whining, bickering, complaining, and we knew the afternoons for the rest of the summer and our weekends would be chopping and stacking that wood. There would be blisters, a lot of splinters, bruised feet, bruised ego. There were some Tara Westover moments, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. And uh, the, the feeling that would come at the end of a hard day of work was one I can't describe. And beyond just en endorphins, it was this pride that we were doing something that took care of our family. And I would call it pride. There were some other hidden lessons. And uh, we learned that if we bickered and complained less, and actually worked as a team, the job went much faster and we'd be done sooner. We also learned by doing this hard work how different, how incredibly different my sisters and I are from one another. We'll call my oldest sister the New York City businesswoman. And her stack, when you would look at it, was in perfect columns and rows, meticulously organized, and she was efficient. Then there was my middle sister, who is the scientist of the family. She's now a physician, um, a pediatric endocrinologist. And her stack, she would design the most green wood at the bottom, followed by the dry wood on top, so that we burned it in order at its optimal level of dryness. And she would set aside logs that had bugs on it and moss, so she could study it later. And then there was me and my stack. And I stacked as much wood as my sisters, but mine looked cool. I sculpted it. It had awesome lines compositionally laid out. Uh, I would balance cool pieces of wood on top. I'd pull pieces of wood out so the animals would have a place to nest. And my parents valued all of our work, though extremely different, and appreciated it because it was a task that we were doing together and we were spending that time together. Side note, my sisters and I have now converted my dad to a pellet stove, far more environmental. 
So my closing thoughts are, as technology and computers and machines are coming at us in all directions, making our lives easier, I'd like to say life is meant to be a struggle. We're meant to work hard, and that's what makes us feel good. So I say to you, find challenges where you can use your hands. Work your body hard. And most of all, be kind. Thank you. Yeah.